ISX version 1.2 introduces two foundational workflow features, MIDI control and host automation both useful for integrating BiasX into real-world playing and music production workflows. Now you can use external MIDI hardware to control BiasX parameters in real time as you play, perform, or record. MIDI is a data standard for communicating musical information between electronic instruments, controllers, hardware, and software like plugins, sequencers, and DAWs. Using MIDI information, you can add physical controls to digital instruments making live performance and recording easier and tactile. MIDI implementation is also fundamental to automation in DAWs. For this demonstration, we'll use a MIDI controller with foot switches and an expression pedal connected to a computer over USB. But you can use any controller that conforms to the MIDI standard once properly connected and configured. Host automation allows your DAW to control BiasX parameters automatically over time. It's like having an extra set of hands that remember when it's time to turn the gain up during a solo or to turn pedals on and off at different times during a song without you having to remember to do it yourself every time. Let's get BiasX set up to take advantage of these new features. To use MIDI control, you'll need a MIDI controller connected to your computer. Note that for some setups, you may need to download specific drivers from your controller's manufacturer in order for it to be recognized and work properly. Once you have your controller connected, open BiasX and click on the gear icon in the bottom left corner of the interface. Choose audio settings from the settings menu. While there, check that your audio interface is configured for the correct inputs and outputs. Then choose your controller from the available devices listed in the MIDI input devices section and enable it. Now let's assign a control to one of the settings in BiasX. Click the MIDI button below the name of your preset. Choose the control you want to assign and choose MIDI Learn. Then all you have to do is move the control on your MIDI controller and it'll automatically be recognized and assigned. Alternatively, you can right click on any assignable control in BiasX and map to MIDI via MIDI Learn. Once you're done, click Close to finish the operation. If you want to do intensive MIDI mapping, you can open the mapping list and assign multiple controls to various preset and global parameters all at once. For this preset, let's assign some controls to turn effects on and off and map the expression pedal to control a parameter. We'll set foot switch A to bypass the wah. Foot switch B bypasses distortion. and foot switch C bypasses the delay. And we'll set the expression pedal to control the sweep of the Y. Now let's go over host automation. Inside your DAW of choice, create an audio track and add an instance of BiasX on it as a plugin. Be sure your audio interface is properly set up. The input for your guitar is chosen and active, and the track is armed for recording. Even though we checked this in the standalone version of BiasX, it's important to check the settings in your DAW as well. Inside BiasX, click the automation icon under the preset name. Map the controls you want to automate to a parameter. Once successfully mapped, you can automate these controls one of two ways. Moving a control that's been mapped to an automation parameter while recording will record its automation. Note the envelopes recorded into the lane matching the parameter. Alternatively, you can choose the parameter you mapped and draw in the automation. Now, anytime you play back the automated section, your DAW will take control of Bias X and will remember and change your settings the way you want in perfect time. And that's pretty much it. Now you know all the basics necessary to map MIDI inside of BiasX for performance control and how to automate your BiasX presets in a DAW for ultimate creative control. Be sure to experiment with automating different parameters to help shape your sound creatively. And remember, you can automate multiple things at once to create totally unique combinations of effects within your presets. Update version 1.2 is just one example of Positive Grid's dedication to continuing development of BiasX's feature set. Check back regularly for future developments.